So you may find yourself in a situation where you need to combine multiple text files into one. And in this particular instance, I get a monthly extracts sent to me. So you can see I have January, February, and March. Uh, I'm not able to get an aggregate file that would say have all the year-to-date data. Um, and so if I ever want to import uh, this data into Excel or to access, I have to do it individually. And if it's a monthly report, maybe it's not that labor intensive, but if you get daily extracts, weekly extracts, etc., cetera, um, over a certain amount of time, it can become uh, a little time prohibitive to have to import those individually. So there is a way to combine text files. The most important thing is they have to be identical as far as the headings, column headings. Um, obviously, the data within them is going to be different, but the column headings, the number of columns has to be identical. So first thing you need to do is place all the text files that you want to combine into one folder. I placed them under my C drive and created the folder called text files. The next thing is you need to know exactly uh, the nomenclature for this pathway. And there's an easy way to do that. So you can see here, if you right click on the folder itself, copy address as text. And then you can just go to any Word document or WordPad or whatever and copy that. And so that's exactly what you'll need to write in on the method we're going to use here in a second. So then what you do is you need to go to your command prompt. And to do that, you click on your start button. You type in on the search bar CMD. And you see it here. Double click there. You'll see that in the command window, it defaults to the Windows backslash system32 folder. That's not the folder we want to be in. We want to direct this to that text file folder where the, those text files reside. So that what you have to do is, and we bring this down so you can see, this is the pathway we need to get to. First thing you have to do is type in CD, which stands for Change Directory, space, and then type in exactly how it appears in your Word document above. And you can have your text files placed somewhere else. The biggest thing is you need to be able to tell the command prompt exactly where they are. Otherwise, it'll never find it. Once you have that typed in, click on Enter. And you can see now we're in the text files folder. Now we want to tell it to display all of the files that are in this text files folder. To do that, you type in DIR, which stands for directory, Enter. Okay, so the first two items you can kind of ignore. The last three here are the individual text files that are in that folder. So just make sure that all the ones that you want to combine are listed here, which in this case we have January, February, and March, so that's correct. And now we want to tell the command window to combine those into one file. To do that, and if you don't get this by watching the video, don't worry, I'm going to put this uh, verbiage in the uh, uh, description on the YouTube video, but you'll need to type in copy, space, asterisk, dot txt, space, new file, dot txt. And the new file is what it's going to be named, so you could change this to whatever you want, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to keep it as new file. But if you want to change this into uh, combined, you could just write and set a new file to be combined.txt. Once you have that typed in, again, copy, space, asterisk.txt, space, new file, or your title, .txt. You click on Enter. And it tells you successfully that it's co copied the file into or combined those into one, uh, one file. Now let's go to the text files folder and see if it appears. And it does. So in addition to the February, January, and March, we now have a new file. And if I was to open that up, um, and it has sensitive data, so I'm not going to do that, but you would see that it has all of this data combined uh, under the correct headings and everything. So it's a very powerful tool, um, especially I've had instances where I've had three or four years worth of monthly data I needed to combine um, uh, or at least import into Excel or access and had to do them individually. Uh, and so when I found this method, it really saved me a tremendous amount of time. So again, if you didn't get some of the, uh, uh, the, the, the
the instructions or at least the, the text that you need to type in the command prompt, don't worry, I'm going to put that in the description section. Uh, but uh, if you like the video, I sure would appreciate if you could like the video and, and leave a comment. Thanks, and uh, hope this uh, saves you some time.